weak entities now this is in our database management systems where we've gone over reliable relational database design by er to relational mapping so we've gone over all of these diagrams and how we would relate them like right here so now we're looking at weak entity and weak entities are the primary key of well the primary key of a weak entity is the combination of the primary key of the owners and the partial key of the weak entity remember that whenever we have a weak entity like this dependent right here we have to have a uh, entity like an actual entity and that's going to be this employee for this example and there's going to be a relationship in between them and this relationship is going to depend on this primary entity right here so we're going to write this out and we're going to start just as we normally would where we have our employee and we have the SSN and salary these are very basic and then we have our dependent and for the dependent we have the name the birth date and the ESSN now we're gonna come back to the ESSN because for now you can think about just only writing the name and the birth date so you write these two down you write the dependent down and now you need to manually make a foreign key related to the strong entity and this is related to the strong entities primary key so once we do that we can see that our primary key for employee is our SSN. So for our dependent, we're going to need the employee SSN to rely on it. So what we need to do is we need to make this foreign key, ESSN. And that is going to rely on our SSN. So if we were to make our little chart from this, like how we have had in a previous example, something like this, and we wanted to relate them, we would just draw an arrow from one to the other. And this one's gonna be from the employee SSN to the dependent. So that is how that would look. Now we need to identify the primary key of the dependent. The primary key of the dependent is going to be the name. So when we write this out, we are going to have employee name. This is the primary key. And we also know that this foreign key has to be underlined too for this to be a primary key because related to the strong entity's primary key, as ESSN, so both of these are underlined. And after combining these two, and we can uniquely identify a dependent, it becomes a primary key. So we have primary key, and that is how we would look at our weak entity and how we would go about writing it. That's the important part right here.